Gate 2, Trespassers, 1990. Directed by Tibor Takach. Starring Louis Tripp, Pamela Adlin, and James Villemaire. A high school student, having spent the past few years practicing black magic, conjures up a demon to grant his wishes. Unfortunately, the demon's presence on Earth comes with a price. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. For those who aren't familiar, the first Gate film plays very much like a kid-friendly version of the Evil Dead films. The same premise of accidentally opening portals to hell and fighting demons is there, but the protagonist is a little kid and the gore has been toned down. I was shocked when I discovered that there was a sequel. I'm not a hardcore fan of the first film by any means, but no one ever seems to mention the sequel when the movie does come up in conversation. Some sequels are criticized for being a retread of the previous film, while others are so detached from the previous film that it's a question of why it was made as a sequel in the first place. This film is very much the latter. It's its own thing. What's surprising is how much carryover this film had from its predecessor. Director Tibor Takach, writer Michael Mankin, and even lead actor Louis Tripp all returned for this one, making its detachment that much more puzzling. I'm honestly surprised actor Louis Tripp didn't have more of a career after this. He carried the film very effectively as a lead. No one in the cast really went on to work on any noteworthy productions aside from Pamela Adlin, whose voice you may recognize as Bobby Hill from the animated series King of the Hill. A variety of methods were used to bring the demonic minion to life on screen. Stop motion, animatronics, and even some incredibly impressive forced perspective shots were edited together almost seamlessly. There's some cool creature and visual effects shots in the climax of the film as well, with the demon world and its inhabitants looking like 80s RPG illustrations brought to life. Verdict? Yeah. A curious sequel that will unfortunately leave fans of the first film at the gate. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.